Hello everyone, welcome back to Ogo Power. I'm Ogo, and this is another episode Dang. of God of War. Um, that was something. Uh, since I have not done any... Oh, I don't need any more experience because, yeah. I need the bleed upgrade to fire the last one. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son. Let's, um... Uh, uh, don't need you. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Lad, her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. Oh, wait, shouldn't the... Prove your well, search for more Valkyries. Oh, I can't as long as I... Okay. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tears Temple then. One last time. I your time awaits. I mean this was yeah. That was really clever, I guess. Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful. But its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, so hey there, guys. What'd you find out there? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I need pristine ore of the realm. Ah, I have already fully upgraded that one. Uh, lower current blend of freezing. You know what? Since I'm using it most of the time, you're gonna tell me who made those. And another one for ah, level well, eight. What else were we talking about? Here we go. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan, <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim, and we'll be on our way. No. Yeah. Right direction. Just by luck. Boy, Just by luck. Ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh. I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. But nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Thing I'm not really Ready. understanding is <laughs> that's unpleasant. Why does he go? Now, boy. As in both of his eyes. <laughs> Shouldn't it have been able to We must be close. close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. 
True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Is this like end game? Find you the Nam's highest peaks. Boy. <laughs> it feels like endgame. Well, we will see. We will see. Not sure yet. fingers I can see the highest peak ahead right over there we did it we did interesting music is this the giant realm uh, melody or however you want to pronounce it <coughs> sorry Something in my throat. What are you doing? Good question. I have nothing more to hide. The ashes of the mother. But then the game might not end here. This might just be like um, a high point since we can now bring the ashes. Uh, we can now um, put the ashes into the wind from where she wanted them. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Yeah, can't do anything, can't sprint, can't take a weapon. Hello? Anybody here? Okay. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all of the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Oh, man. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. This is something, I'd say. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Uh, since no one's home, that's... Quite possible. Yeah. Ah, Who's the guardian? Huggy's <coughs> coming. I 
I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Uh huh. Seems reasonable, yeah. Ah, oh, seems like my internet is having problems. Ah, <sighs> oh, no wonder. Wait! Father! Something's happening! Wait, isn't that her? With, with the axe? It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. What? She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? I think that's something that's new for Kratos as well. That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! just happened. Uh-huh. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. Before it happened. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. <clears throat> All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. And she hit hers a bit better. One could say. Know. She was a giant. So you're the son of a Greek god I'm and a giant. A giant. Why didn't she tell us? That's a lot to take in. She sent us here, knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Think so too. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along. Not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us... I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Question is, is that a good thing? So Look, everybody, it's mothers. Watching. She was here. Oh. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. The stream has crept out. I think totally and utterly. Still, I can't do anything but move. Come on, boy. I think waiting for him a bit is the right call there. I mean, technically, he should be able to just um, uh, teleport to me. That's usually how these things are done. They have all died. But 
But why? Fine. I mean, look at it. No. That's we do it together. Son. It's a very sunny day today, so I have to go down quite a lot. There's nothing for us here. Don't think so either. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. And My name on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Oh, what? Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. What? I mean, technically, he last wish. Okay. I mean, let let me think about this for a sec. I, technically. Loki was um, a giant. Yeah, he was a giant, technically. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with your kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep the secret? Wait, I is do not know. Is the game over now? So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. But we missed it. Uh. I'm not ready to have the game to end, to be honest. I mean... 
Okay, I have to move. Um. Now I totally understand why uh, God of a Ragnarok is coming. There's still some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. Yeah. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. This boy is Loki. Oh, okay, I'm... Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? That's they took an question. uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Okay. Continue exploring complete dwarven forests, free dragons, travel to Muspelheim and Nilfheim, find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment. All legendary corrupted Valkyries. Oh. But, oh. One, two, three? Oh, wait, what if it, there are some in, like... Ah, okay, there are also some in other. If I maintain equipment, it can be accessed any time from within the game's options menu. Ah, okay. Um, I don't remember if that was part of the game when it came out, or if that was something that they programmed in after. Uh, um... Let's return to Midgard for now. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of torments. We're becoming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, oh. Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? from snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. It changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's thimble winter. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound okay. to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. Rage of Titans and Green Patch of the Furious. How dare you make me the voice of the Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Thimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die or if you're not heading home same advice all right we'll scoot in um what i want to know now to be honest is not the realm of nilf and yeah but Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Um, misconception in my head. Okay, um... Still, I don't think I can go here. Oh, wait. Maybe I... No, you know what? I think I will end this now. Um... I hope you liked what I've seen, and I hope I see you again in the next episode. So... Bye-bye.